Welcome to this video on adding Network DPI data to SolarWinds Orion Views. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netfort. So first up, let me give you a quick introduction to the network we are monitoring here. So I've got a core switch, which I've got servers connected, some uh, users connected via edge switches, got an internet connection. Also I've got some routers and a VPN gateway here, which is connecting some remote sites. I've got SolarWinds Orion NPM installed and I've also got SolarWinds Orion NTA installed. So the NTA application is collecting NetFlow data from things like routers. And I've also got Network Land Guardian installed. So it's it's doing deep packet inspection. So it's connected here to a span port on the core switch and it's doing deep packet inspection of traffic as it passes through the core. So we've had an alert here that um, we have an issue with our Manchester link. Users are also complaining that it's quite slow. Applications are timing out, so we need to investigate it. So let's let's click and drill down and take a look at what's happening. So on the next uh, page here, this first tab is looking at data which is coming in from NetFlow. So what's it telling us? Well, we can see here that Microsoft DS, that's Microsoft Directory Services, things like file and print traffic, it consumes about 40% of bandwidth, just over 40% of bandwidth on the link. We've also got almost 40% of traffic, which is unmonitored, so that's, we don't have any application names for that. We have some web traffic, some UDP. Let's see what else we pick up. We see some strange looking websites here, domains. Um, don't make much sense to me, except one maybe there, but the rest of them look very strange. Let's see, take a look at top conversations on the link. So we have a client in the remote site connecting to a server in the data center. Um, so 160 megabytes and other transactions there between external IPs and IPs in the remote site. Strange domains again in here. So I'm starting to understand what's happening. We can see it's Microsoft traffic. I could drill down and see the router and the interface. I can see IPs, but I still need more information here to get the complete picture. So to do that, let's click on the DPI Power by Netfort tab. Let's just minimize the tabs there at the side. So what's it telling us? Firstly, we've got content-based application recognition here. So this is like InBar, but way better because it can be connected to a span port. So it's telling us BitTorrent is in use on this link. We also see some flash media, so that'll be things like uh, YouTube type videos. We see server message blocks, so that's file share traffic, HTTP. So we see application names in here. And the great thing with the Langarni Deepak and Inspection Engine is we can drill down even further. So when you see something like server message block, which is again file and print traffic, here we can see then they share, we see the folder, and we see the files that are being copied across the link. In this case, we see a WMV file, which is a movie file, so that would consume a lot of bandwidth. Let's refresh that there. On the right hand side we see top website domain. So Windows Update YouTube. So these are the actual domains the users visited. So somebody's running Windows Update on the machine, somebody's on YouTube, somebody's on topgear.com. And we could drill down and see what pages they're accessing. We can also see the bandwidth um, that each of those sites are consuming. But the most important thing here is these are the real domains that the users are visiting. The left hand side here we also can see that Bill Patton here from finance, he's consuming over half the bandwidth on the link. So it's all down to really one user who's consuming most bandwidth. And we could drill down and just see what type of traffic and applications So Microsoft, so BitTorrent. So this is the guy here responsible for running BitTorrent on the link, which consumes, which is consuming the most amount of bandwidth. We can also see some events being triggered on the, so the network scan here. Let's take a quick look at that. So this network scan, is being triggered by the UDP. There's so many connection, connections coming from that user system that they, it's triggering a, a network scan alert. So we need to have words with this user. So with a combination of the adding Langardian DPI data to SolarWinds, we've got the complete picture from applications to things like file names, domains, and even things like usernames. So I can now understand what is happening on my network. If you want to find out more about our integration pack for SolarWinds Orion, please go to our website at netfort.com.